I went on a something of a fool's errand even though I had to go to Walmart but I knew look if I look looking should I look for the type of product no fucking chance on guessing made in um you know some place out in Wisconsin or something some good American place let's see Oh, it's made in China. Never mind. Um, of course, Walmart, you don't sell any solar products. You sell a bunch of plastic on stuff. America, you deadbeat shitheads. Take it upon yourself. Government, why don't you fund them to start the trinket solar business? To where, like... Solar, ev solar, everything. You could use it during the summer. You're no, never mind. I'm wrong. Put batteries in plastic. Just keep dumping it into the oceans. You fucking retards. <clears throat> there should be a booming solar product market. It's just there. You want to stop having? Ch you want to stop relying on China? Start making these things, people won't buy shit on stuff that... Not, I guess it's not a bad product, but it's just still plastic and battery and... You gotta plug it into the wall and it's not made in America. You can make it in America. So it's like, I was thinking... <clears throat> They have sold you such a bill of goods about um, capitalism, capital like manufacturing capitalism. It is. It becomes absolutely the. It can only bring cutthroat, um, <clears throat> cutthroat industry. And myriad monopoly. So over everything you buy, something has a monopoly over it. That's price controlling everything. Within that sphere of economic influence. But what is their incentive ever then to build a good product? If they build a good product, you buy it once. They can charge you for it once. If they make it shitty, it costs a lot less to build it and you buy it as many times as you want to use that type of product because it's going to turn to shit real soon. <clears throat> any stress, any stress. They make these headphones, the cord, <clears throat> catch on to everything. It's a friction uh, catalyst cord. Like, it creates the friction. Uh... It can't can support its own weight. And it's like the only places where it's pivotal. So at this little joint here, here's the cord. So where this thing plugs in, they make that thing the most vulnerable, snappable, shitty uh, stitch, like little glue singe uh, soldering. It's like that. So that you, any stress in the cord, any stress. Plus, like, all you gotta do is know, like, this, <clears throat> I don't know it, <clears throat> but I know people <clears throat> can use the headphones to take away my sound. Like, uh, <clears throat> once they've, <clears throat> once they've decided, yep, this pair is done, or yep, he's got a couple extra bucks, go grab it, all of a sudden... When I twist the thing, the little nozzle here, in the thing, like only at like a certain piece of the pie degree, it works on a part of the cord. It's and it's just a manipulative thing. It sucks. But I mean, how is capitalism? How does communism? I'm not saying communism is a theos that seeks to eliminate theologic institutions because inevitably they run up against the power of the state. 
these are the two things that control like man's temperament his belief that is if he's a spiritual spiritualist or authority it's the only two things <clears throat> you can um that always pit that will always pit men when they have to take a side in one of those two things <clears throat> How is socialism, how does that in, inhibit innovation when capitalism, the way it's done, makes it not only like it's just unnecessary to be efficient and build good things, depending on what you're building, it becomes counterproductive to build a good product if they can get you to buy five in a year of a ship product, if they if you but building it once decently might let you keep it two or three years, and they're not getting five to fifteen times for building it decently, it's incentivized to be a ship product once because it keep, just keeps growing. Every sector keeps growing because it relies on that huge marketplace known as globalism. So all individual satisfaction with the product or, you know, <clears throat> recompense, reprimand to address a shit product, you lose it as an individual. These things don't need your fucking, your, <clears throat> like my $15, 13 12 whatever it is to buy a new pair of headphones. They don't need it. They know everybody else will go get it because, like, they're not, it doesn't ruin their, you know, a lot of them, it doesn't ruin a, a budget to buy those things, so they just do it. But I mean, it still doesn't make for the best commerce. <clears throat> and But that globalization, they've... rationalized it as, this is an, this is an, this is an inevitable feature of progress. That's bullshit. That's international parties, are, you know, interests telling those around here, tell these idiots to shut the fuck up, I'm doing my business. But it's like, it makes just as much sense in an American, in a America-sized and capable country where you can build, there's nothing that we would have to go outside our own borders for, really, except bananas. I mean, you could manufacture bananas in a greenhouse. You know, cultivate a, a soil that can breed them, whatever, <clears throat> that can bear them. But I mean, if you do... like a semi-global economy. So let's say you're trading within America. Only within America. I'm this shoemaker. I w can sell 100,000 pairs of shoes, of decent shoes for 100 bucks each. And like make as much as selling a million of it for 10 bucks each on a global market. You made a, if it's a shit product or sell it for, I mean, you lose the craftsmanship, you lose the expertise in the product when it becomes automated into some thing that had no effort to make, except, I mean, engineering is fantastic. The assembly line, obviously, pivotal to all manufacturing, but I mean, it's, st <clears throat> it loses the care. And what warrants, like that, those these twelve dollar headphones, they can sell for twelve bucks and make a killing. It costs them thirty seven fucking cents to make this thing in a factory because, like, uh, it didn't get any individual care, it didn't get any individual manufacturing. Tender, loving care is everything. That's not it. <clears throat> Just because they say global economies, it, that's not, those, that's how the market is dictated. 
that's how a stock market based system is in, like which gives control to everybody else who isn't the people affected by the fucking thing a stock market system is just another way of saying like a controlled oligarchy they can manipulate all sorts of price so like they can manipulate five peripheral industries prices and run out a, a sixth guy a sixth different industry which is reliant to some point upon the other ones if that guy's industry you know doesn't play ball it's all dumb it's really what it gets down to it's all dumb But just because it's in China's best interest that America is global, it's never, it's not in any way in America's interest. And they're not just like capitalist in enterprises abroad, internationally. <clears throat> These are people who would want to go to war if we stop doing business with them. That's because they need our business. It's like that's, but by getting our business, by virtue of getting it, they have to compete on that huge level. Tons of capital goes into it. And they're doing it as an investment to own you here, but from there. Then they take away civics and everybody's a fucking retard. Conjunction, junction, what's your function? I mean, uh, schoolhouse did, does rock. You know, if you get get your fucking head out of your ass, do your goddamn homework, set a bunch of fucking jerkweeds. Tanya, I, give me Tanya. You never see me have these kids pick up a fucking book unless I get sued for, like, child labor laws or whatever. <clears throat> 2.40 p.m. Uh, Thursday, September 2nd, 2021.